Hi, my name is Elaine and in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to bring you into my kitchen and show you how to make a super easy, healthier spaghetti carbonara. So we're making a non-cream, lower fat, healthier carbonara. And for this you will need chicken, a couple of slices of bacon, then some spring onions, and some mushrooms. These are just mushrooms that I chopped yesterday. And then for the sauce, you need um, any type of yogurt. Uh, I find either I use a mixture of this one and then I use like a Greek style one. And um, you'll also need one egg, some Parmesan, which you're great, and um, a tiny pinch of nutmeg. And then I like to serve this with greens, so I'm using broccoli and asparagus. So then you also need spaghetti, but I don't actually have enough for two portions. So I'm going to do a mixture of spaghetti and penne pasta. And I'm using whole wheat pasta because I prefer the flavor and also I think it keeps me full for longer. So first things first, you need to make the spaghetti. So just boil a kettle. And then in here I have weighed out um, between 100 and 150 grams of pasta goes for two people. So between like 50 and 75 grams per person. So then just pour in the boiling water. Shit. Leaky kettle. And then just stick it on to boil. Next you need to chop the chicken and the bacon. Um, I don't really like cutting chicken, so that's why I put it on a fork and then slice it. I don't like the feel of it, especially when it's cold. Also, when you're buying bacon, I like to go for, these are sweet cure, which I usually wouldn't get, but um, I like to go for bacon medallions because there's less fat on them and um, there's more of the fleshy, porky bit. And then take about three scallions and chop those up as well. And if you make them kind of inch size pieces. Okay, next you need to take a big pan. So I'm using this wok, which is quite deep and um, you just need to heat it up. And I've mentioned in a couple of videos before that I like to use fry light. Um, and my reasons for that is portion control because I used to use too much. And also it's just really easy if you're doing something like making homemade chips or wedges, um, which I'm, I'll do a recipe for. Uh, but also if you want to use uh, proper rapeseed oil, even if you buy a squeezy bottle, it's just really handy and you don't waste any. And also as well, I have a garlic version of the same one, which I will also use um, in this recipe. Okay, so when the pan is hot, throw in the scallions. So next, chop um, or add in your chopped chicken. And I always give this a couple more sprays of fried light. And then while that's um, turning white, um, I'm just gonna cut off my asparagus. So you just need to chop off the ends. Next you wanna throw in the chopped bacon. And then at this stage, um, you want to put in uh, three sprays of the fry light and put in a good few shakes of black pepper. And then when you're waiting for that to cook, you can just chop up the leftover broccoli. And if I had time, I would um, grill this or pop it in the oven, but um, I'm just gonna give it a stir fry just to put some extra greens on the side. And then when the chicken and bacon are basically cooked, you need to, to you need to toss in your asparagus and your mushrooms. And then put in a couple more sprays of this. And then for the sauce, you actually need two eggs, not one egg. Um, and then you need two to three tablespoons of natural yogurt. I kind of put the natural yogurt in last to thicken it. Uh, you also need one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese and then a pinch of nutmeg and that's your sauce. So you can make that while the other bits are cooking. And then when you have the sauce made, you just need to drain your spaghetti. And then once all that's done, just take everything off the heat and then just take your spaghetti and pour it in on top of the sauce or pour it in on top of the veg. 
The next bit's kind of tricky because this mixture has dairy in it, has yogurt in it, and yogurt um, can curdle if it gets too hot. That's why you have to make sure that spaghetti is off the heat before you mix in this. So you pour it in on top and then just slowly mix it around. And then the idea behind it is because you don't want to heat up the sauce because you don't want the cream to curdle or for the yogurt to curdle, that the heat of all of the ingredients actually cooks the egg. But for some reason, I'm paranoid that it doesn't actually cook the egg. So I just tend to plate it up and then bang it in the microwave for 30 seconds just to give my head peace, basically. And then the broccoli was just, um, it was just stir fried. So I'll just throw that onto the side um, just for some extra greens. So that's it, as you can see, it's super easy to make and it's really, really, really tasty. Uh, one thing about it is you can't freeze it, so if you're gonna make it, if you wanna have it a second day, you're gonna have to have it the day after. If you like what you see, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you wanna see more, click the subscribe button, which I think is on this side of the screen. If it isn't, it's over here, but anyway. Uh, so click that and you'll see more videos and I'll be back with another video next Sunday. Spaghetti! Where is the spaghetti? Oh shit, but I don't need my spaghetti. It's gonna be a spaghetti pasta combo.